Hey, how's it going? Just out for my wee walk today. It's the first nice day we've had in a month, I would say. It's been raining non-stop. Anyhow, this t being a dad lark. So, as most of you probably know, and for those of you that don't know, I'm going to be a dad in two months. Got a wee boy on the way. Looks like his name's probably going to be Kai. So, we're very excited. And a bit terrified as well, probably, I would imagine. Um, I've been thinking about it a lot and um, we got some, we got a kind of a, a bag of clothes from my partner's brother the other day so I, I decided to wash them all and then when I was drying them out I got a wee bit choked up. It's like, my God, there's going to be this little person this size that I'm going to have to start looking after soon. It's like, my God. And it all kind of hit home. You know, it was a bit of a surprise how hard it hit. But yeah, I was like, wow, this is going to be amazing. I'm terrified. <laughs> but it's going to be worth it and I can't wait. So yeah, it's been a strange kind of day. Well, a week really. Um, also, trying to figure out all the things you have to buy for a newborn. It's crazy. All the nappies, all the wipes, all the, the the towels, the cloths, everything. It all seems a bit... I can see where people would get overwhelmed. Especially in today's climate where, you know, people most people are scraping every penny they can together. As are we. And then having to spend it on all these unforeseen things. It's not easy. It's quite um, nerve-wracking to be in this situation at the moment because I'm not working. Um, that's more to do with the place that we live than anything else. Because I'm so remote, I can't um, find a work-from-home job anymore. They all seem to be, you know, in big cities, um, which means I've either got to live away from home during the week and go back home um, at the weekends or we've both got to move so we've decided that the best thing for me to do well we decided this a while ago anyway that I'm going to be a stay at home dad check this out pretty beautiful eh it's great when the sun's out when the sun's not out it's not so good but yeah, so, um, luckily my partner earns enough that um, it's enough for me to be a stay-at-home dad. And she works from home as well, so it's the best of both worlds, really. Um, you know, our baby's going to have lots of attention. And that's the plan, really. The plan is to be there as much as possible. I don't want to be an absentee father. I'm going to be there as much as possible. And, you know, doing my bit. Which shoots me down to the ground, really, because I would much prefer to be doing that than sitting in a bloody office, that's for sure. So, yeah. It's um, quite hard work doing the YouTube channel as well. It's um, pretty tough. But I keep plodding away, and hopefully you're getting some um, entertainment and some benefit out of the videos that I'm making. I don't really hear for that many people. It'd be nice to connect with more stay-at-home dads. It would be um, beneficial for everybody, I think. We were supposed to be moving house as well, but all of that's on the... You know, that's kind of been stopped now due to the fact that... Um, it's only two months to go, we're on, what are we on, 30 weeks, 30 weeks and three days today, I think, three, four days, something like that. So I don't really want to be packing up a house, arranging for moving and all of that stuff. So we've just kind of put that on the back burner for the moment and leaving it until we, um, some, some time further down the road. Which is beneficial for my girlfriend more than anything, to be honest. She doesn't have to worry about 
doing all this stuff when she's seven, eight, nine months pregnant. It'll all be a bit easier if we just take our time and get our sea legs by being parents and whatnot. And um, trying to figure that out first before we do anything else. So anyway, being a stay-at-home dad is going to be something that I'm really looking forward to and something I'm going to take on with everything that I've got. I've been getting a bit fitter as well, doing my push-ups and going out for walks whenever I can, although I've, this, this is the first walk I've had in a while due to the weather. But yeah, I'm looking after myself a bit better, making sure Carolina's okay, everything's going well. We were at a, we were at a, a consultation and a scan yesterday. Um, everything's fine. He's a little bit small, but he's right in line with what's normal. At first he was a little bit big that they measured through the scan. And then yesterday he was a wee bit smaller than that, but he's in the normal range. So that's great news. And yeah, so being a dad to be, to be honest with you, I haven't really given it much thought um, up till now, really. You know, I've been, you know, I'm aware that I'm going to be a dad. And, you know, I've been kind of thinking about it, but not in any kind of big, big way. Just, yeah, I'm going to be a dad. Okay, let's just see what happens, where we go. But now that it's getting much closer, you know, the old asshole's going a bit like that. It's starting to get scary. But it's the... Um, it's the things that you've got to think about that seem to keep catching me out a wee bit and um, you know when I was looking at the small clothes yesterday I was like my god there's going to be this there's going to actually be a person inside that that is going to rely on me for everything you know I was like fucking hell was like, that's going to be crazy but um, I'm looking forward to it um, We've been doing as much as we can uh, by, you know, making sure we've got some of everything that people have told us we're going to need. You know, we need the car seat, we need the the pram, the baby walker, the the things for the baby to play when it's at home to keep its attention, all of these things. We've kind of bought most of that already and we've been given quite a lot of stuff, which is really cool, makes life a wee bit easier. Check this out. It's a weird colour. Such a strange colour. But yeah, it's coming on. Uh huh. They'll be harvesting that soon. Yeah, so yeah, everything's going hunky dory. So, um, thanks for watching the channel. I do appreciate people popping in. Leave a comment, hit the like and subscribe. I'd like to talk to people who have been in this situation before I have. Because there's not really many people for me to talk to where I am. You know, they're all old and had kids already and they're not really interested in that kind of chat. So if there's any dads or mums, I'm sure mums have got plenty of advice to give me. Just put it in the comments downstairs downstairs, down below this, and I'll reply. So another thing that I've got to deal with, I've got um, some mental health things that um, can be a real problem for me. I've ADHD diagnosed about four years ago, three years ago, and I've got complex PTSD diagnosed last year. So I'm dealing with those things as well as, you know, going to be a dad and stuff. But I think I've been doing a DBT course where I've got um, group therapy and a one-on-one -on -one therapy every week. And um, that's been working wonders. I've got loads of tools to help. And the fact that I'm not doing a job I don't enjoy, that's helped so much with my stress levels and um, my emotional dysregulation that I'm almost a new person. You know, I'm much calmer. Um, much more relaxed, much more easy going. I don't go into fight or flight every day because of dumbass stuff. Um, 
and see walks like this walks using the dbt tools um not working in a job i hate um knowing that i'm going to be a father got the love of a good woman all of these things um have been awesome for me um ai art that's another thing i do i do a lot of art using ai um night cafe studio and mid journey and those things these those things keep me together keep me um a responsible adult i guess probably for the first time in my life if i'm honest um due to me being into drugs and drink for pretty much most of my life um now i can't remember the last time i had a pint when did i have a pint can't remember I haven't taken any kind of drugs for either three or four years i can't remember now uh 2018 i think it was december 2018 we stopped so 19 20 21 so maybe four years something like that yeah my mental health's improving all the time and the fact that i've got a baby on just about to kind of show up um has given me this you know this sense of belonging um something that i've actually accomplished in my life that's been worthwhile and so when he comes along i'm sure that he's going to help my mental health as well which is going to be pretty awesome and i'm sure through all of this there's going to be ups and downs and days where i need to take you know medication and stuff i take medication every day anyway but there's other medication i could be taking to help me with other things that i don't take every day because i don't feel the need but i'm sure once i've got lack of sleep and all these additional responsibilities there'll be the odd day where i can't really cope without my extra meds but that's just par for the course i suppose and it's kind of one of the side effects of having some mental health shit going on in your life but anyway this helps you know these walks help getting out and about into the countryside make a big make a world of difference anyway i'll stop blethering pish now and let you get on with your day thanks for dropping in don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and i'll speak to you all soon take it easy